Hello everybody and welcome back to Surviving Mars. Now um, let me just first uh, unpause the game so we can get this going. And uh, some of you may notice straight away that somehow we are on Sol 120. Uh, whereas we in, the, in the last episode we, uh, we left off, uh, I think it was about 104 or something like that. So yeah, funny thing, what happened? I was just recording uh, this episode, then I went to um, went to edit the uh, the recording and uh, I realized the um, the video was corrupted. Yeah, that was that was pretty painful. So um, and um, to be honest, I just couldn't bother to to reload the uh, um, save from uh, from from the last uh, last time. So uh, what I just did is uh, I. Um, yeah, I'm just gonna run you through what uh, what happened because there's quite a few things. Um, so first of all, we um, uh, we uh, lost the RC Explorer in the, in the last episode, so I definitely had to um, replace it. And although we didn't have any money, so what I um, realized after a while, we can get some money f with the uh, what is it, the Martian patents. So that gave us 500 uh, million. We did that one. Um, we flew back to Earth. And um, we um, essentially we just purchased a new uh, uh, new RC Explorer from here. It was very expensive. Oh, I think the prices have gone up again. I think it was a little bit under six forty when I just bought it. So um, so yeah, we did that. We did some planetary missions as well, and um, I started uh, already sort of planning out where I want the tome. Because uh, the prices are now so ridiculously high, let's let's check something else. So electronics, for five electronics, we have to pay 160 million, um, which is you know a little bit ridiculous. Uh, so yeah, that's what we've uh, uh, we've, we've kind of, kind of done. So I do think we'll um, want to bring the um, some colonists on on Mars fairly soon, because um, we're not going to be able to keep buying uh, resources from from earth for very long uh, it wouldn't be an issue if we had the um i always forget what it's called but the uh, break th breakthrough uh, tech that allows you to um um have the extractors working uh, on their own so you wouldn't need any any people uh, manning them uh so um so so yeah, unfortunately we haven't got that um and 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 now yeah we're just gonna plan this out i would maybe call some people to mars already in this episode however our bottleneck right now is the bio biotech uh, research over here we need we need some um, moisture vaporators and we haven't uncovered the tech yet it, it should be somewhere down here not sure where it could be one of the next ones if we get lucky I think it's uh, was sitting in the in the bracket of uh, between 12 to 19. So let's say we are 1 2 3 4 5 6 7 8 9 10. Right. So uh, Yikes. Okay. So we're going to have to do a couple more uh research technologies over here. So I guess we'll queue up this as well since it's only a thousand. Another thing I realized um, well, before we get into that, we also had quite a few um, um, disasters happen. So, we already had a meteor storm, and that was like right next to our base. I was, I was Sector getting scanned. pretty anxious, but fortunately, it was moving t more towards east. So, um, and it left a whole bunch of resources here as well. So that's that's very nice. And now we also have a cold wave coming coming in 17 hours. Oh yeah, that is the meteor storm that was here. It's it's still ongoing. Uh, as you can see, it's just over there. Um, so yeah, I think uh, that's pretty much the key things. I mean, planetary missions, there wasn't anything too crazy over there. We did one one of the satellite ones where we had to transport uh, 30 electronics. And in, in return, we got uh, like a billion and 300,000 or something like that. So I used 900,000 of, of that money to buy... Um, uh, bring some, uh, well, essentially, to replace the electronics I, I used up. So we we made a profit of um, like something around three hundred thousand, which is not a lot, but it it sure helped a little bit because I, uh, that also allowed me to bring in five more machine parts. Let's actually speed up that time. 
Uh, so cold wave in 15 hours. We've got a MDS up and running now, so that is good. If we keep the rovers here, hopefully we're not gonna have another this situation. Uh, yeah, that was uh, that was very painful, and it's very painful on the on the high, higher set settings because money is money is very tight. Uh, we lost 100 research per soul, and that um, yeah, it took me like like 16 or 17 souls just to replace it. So so 17 by 100. So we lost about 1,700 research points, which could have already been, you know. Uh, one of those uh, technologies that we could have researched, but oh well. Um, suppose that's what you get in uh, being playing in the in the higher levels. So uh, so all is good. We're still alive for the time being. And and let's see. So in today's episode, I think our focus is again gonna be uh, trying to get the. Get our prep done for the for the first first humans to to arrive on Mars. Now I'm thinking of maybe I'll send one of the rockets back already. Takes three souls. Wait, let's not do this mistake again. Let's turn this on already. Yeah. Good. Okay, um, should we send this rocket back? Because it takes in three souls. I don't think we're gonna have the uh, necessary technology researched in three souls. So maybe we're not in such a hurry. Let's check the um, uh, some. What's it called? The uh, missions over here. Uh, now this will be amazing to get another 300 research points, but it takes 100 electronics and there's no way we're going to be able to purchase them. The only way we could do them is by um, bringing humans onto Mars and then building a machine... Uh, wait, that's the machine parts factory. We need... oh yeah, there we go, the electronics factory. But that again means we need some rare metals, so... So, yeah. Research complete. Nice, okay. Um, so, coming back to what I was going to say before. Um, right, so we could get 3 billion from from this, this one. Research 9 breakthrough technologies. We've already done 4. If we do another... Five. That means we have another three billion in our bank. Now, if we check the research tab, we can do this one, which is fairly cheap, actually. Well, compared to everything else that's on on here, that's that that is very cheap. So that's one. This could be core water breakthrough. Could be second one. Eternal fusion could be the third one, and then well, this one sustained workload is is only four thousand two hundred. But the service bots will be very useful once the humans come to Mars because that means we don't... Well, what it says here is non-medical service buildings upgrade. So we could upgrade buildings and they no longer require workers and they operate at 100 performance, which is amazing. So I don't think I've used this one or I've, I've got this one before. So I'm not sure if that means all the service buildings. I mean, it. It, it says here that non-medical service buildings, so that should mean all the rest of them, but I'm just thinking, yeah, so technically it should be that all of these require no manpower anymore, which means we could then put them in the extractors and factories to start producing research for, no, resources, that's the word uh, for us, which would be beautiful. Now, yeah, that's an option. And we have unlocked a gene adaptation as well. Unlock new crops in farms and hydroponic farms that provide better food yields. Oh, another one of those. Okay, cool. 7,000 though. It would take us 10 days to research this one. Um, 
but we're gonna have to do some some of those things here anyway so medical center it's cheaper but mm, let's see farms increase the comfort uh, I think to let's see we've got three three more over here that means we're gonna uncover another three uh, so let's wait with uh, with um, assigning some other research in there and what we'll do, well, it seems our RC transporter is just sitting around here, which is not very good. Let's let's put him to work. You go over there, gather everything you can and bring it back to our beautiful tiny base over here. Right, so uh, missions, back to, back to planetary missions over here. Let's see, is there anything else we could do that doesn't require people? No. Seems like they all require some colonists. Yeah, that's unfortunate. I mean, we could do another... Yeah, let's do this one. Since we have the MDS now... Well, we're not 100% protected, but... Um, yeah, let's, let, let's, let's do that. We could really use some, uh, some new uh, anomalies. Unfortunately, this meteor storm that we just had over here didn't bring down any anomalies, so... At least I can't see any here. So that's a little sad, but... Oh well. We'll survive. Cool, are you... Um... Oh, okay, it requires another 60 fuel. Well, that's okay, our fuel reserves are pretty good. So we're not too worried about it. Let's see how far is the extractor. Oh, 281. So it is almost depleted. So that is beautiful. Now for this one. I'm not worried about the concrete right now since we got already like 2.5 in the bank. But once we start building a lot more stuff over here, the, those reserves are going to... Uh, deplete well fairly quickly depends how fast we build Sector of course scanned. and how fast we expand looking at our current expansion uh, rate um, I think we'll be able to survive with the 2.5k for, for quite a bit and there he goes hopefully he's gonna bring some beautiful meteors down that are also going to give us some um, some new anomalies to research so so let's see how that goes now with this rocket over here he's already loaded as well so shall we send him back I mean we've got one rocket here <clears throat> we got one rocket over here Jesus my voice breaking over there um, so I don't think we I don't think we, like, desperately need him here. Yeah. What are these guys doing? Okay, they're filling up those. Oh, this range is much lower, but this one has them in the range, so that's... That's good. Let's uh, assign them over here. You... Yeah, we don't have a rocket there. Cool. Um, you know what? Yeah, just go home. That should be beautiful. Okay. Let's see. 20% done on this one. 54% on the research. So that is all good. Our water is... Is balanced out as well. So we're producing three. But we are also using up all those three. So, so that is okay. Um, let's see, what else can we do now? Well, the transporter is already uh, uh, running around and collecting all those goodies over here. Oh, there's some uh, some devils, dust devils running around. There's quite a bit of water here. But it's in a, in a cold zone, so... Oh, wait, everything is a cold zone right now because it's the cold wave. But this was... Uh, gold zone here wasn't it I think it was anyways what I'm what I'm 
trying to say is we could build over here potentially but the thing is there's there's no vistas around here and I could really use those those vistas plus the rare metals yeah there's no rare metals or all that kind of stuff this teeth metals here but um Yeah, and some ground metals. Oh, that's very low. How much was in this one? Oh, 1,000. 2,000 almost. 2,000 here. Uh, this is kind of same. Average. It's average as well. And that was... Yeah, that was low. Meteor okay. Incoming. Ooh, let's pause this. I think we're fine. It's gonna... Yeah, it took all that fuel. Ooh... Yikes, maybe we'll, um, yeah, maybe let's put another typo over this direction. Set it to about, let's say, 50. Could spread it out a bit more. So that's the, that's why I keep uh, putting fuel in them, uh, uh, spreading it out a little bit. If a meteor hits, it's, it's not going to take everything. It just took, uh, I think, like one tenth right now, since we got quite a few depots around here. What is it? Like three, four, five, six, seven, eight, nine, ten. Well, that was the eleven, wasn't it? So, so yeah, we only you, you lost a fracture of our reserves, which is sector uh, scanned. Much better than losing everything. Uh, there's nothing in those sectors over there. Well, that's very unfortunate. I'm very much hoping to find some more anomalies, so please, please do give me, give me a few. Be very handy right now, and uh, it seems the research almost done, so let's have a look. Maybe we get lucky and we... Research complete. Yes. Oh, thank you. Thank you so much. I'm so glad it wasn't like the 19th or towards the end I think it's the number 12 isn't it 2 4 6 8 9 10 11 12 yes we got actually very lucky which means it's uh, well somewhat cheaper it's not cheap but it's well it's less research than compared to if it was on the summer here okay let's get a rid of this one then and uh, let's look at our deck tree again what are the next most important things that we need so obviously moisture farming will be will be the first one so we can start producing some water um there was an upgrade for this as well do we already have it uh let me let me just quickly oh we already have it okay so that is yeah, that's that's beautiful. So it is gonna produce a little bit more water, but I think like we're gonna have to build quite a few of them to to keep our um, dome alive, isn't it? Plus the let's see, it takes five polymers and two metals. Okay, so that's good. We've got quite a few polymers still. Then what else? Farms. Yeah, I guess that's nice as well, but... Uh, let's see, what else do we need? Mm. Yes, but no. Apartments, not necessary. Smart homes isn't necessary either. At least right now. No, it's not a must. Now... This would be good. Let's put this in the queue as well. Sustainable architecture, so uh, which means that the in-dome buildings require maintenance less often. So it's going to save us a few resources. Large water tank would also be very nice, especially for those long, um, long cold waves. 
which takes a very long time to build. Let's see, passenger rockets carry 10 more colonists. Now that would be, it would be nice, but it's just 7,000 research points, so that's 10 days to do. I think I'm going for the comfort that I'm going to provide for my uh, citizens, so this would be good as well. We are going to research the uh, 3D machining fairly quickly so we can start producing our own machine parts. I think the polymer factory we already had. Yes, we already have it. Uh, not necessary right now. Don't really need to assemble more drones. Automated modes. Mm, it's more of a convenience than, than a necessity right now. Batteries. Not gonna need these either. The jets. Fuel extractors upgrade. Nah. Shuttle speed and refiners vectors upgrade. Okay, so this actually... Factory AI wouldn't be bad. But we're not gonna do it right now since it is very expensive. It's gonna increase the performance for refiners and factories. So our metals and rare metals. Oh no, it's not for extractors. My bad. Okay, so maybe it is not so needed right now. We're not going to research turning generators. Uh, just because it takes electronics and we can't really produce electronics on our own. We, we, we need rare metals for, for that. Uh, what else? Factory amplification, uh, which gives 25% per, uh, production increase but it also increases power consumption by 20. So that's a no. Workshops fusion reactor for power. I think that will go on the list as well. Although, yeah, because then it means we're not gonna, well, if we research the breakthrough, eternal fusion, then that means we are not going to need to research fusion reactor upgrade. Because this one is 20,000 research points and it just reduces the amount of workers. But for 4,200 research points, we can um, do the eternal fusion, which means we don't need any workers and it operates at 150 performance. So that's going to sort out our power problems, I think. I think around this time as well, it will be good to get into the researching all the, all the breakthroughs. Okay, so let's figure this out. Well, let's do this first, I suppose. Yeah, let's go like that. Okay, so our research is quite sorted. Now, another thing I wanted to check is because we have the lakes technology now and we also have the breakthrough, which means uh, you don't need any water to um, pump water into the lakes. So let's check which number, uh, which letter was it? It'd be B is the shortcut. So let's check the terraforming. So what happens if we get start getting lakes? Does that help us with anything? Uh, not really, because we also need to increase the temperature. And it just makes it possible for the vegetations. Yeah, unfortunately... Hmm, lakes isn't gonna... Okay, so it's not a priority just, just yet, I suppose. Um, cool, let's see where our rockets are. So one of our rockets is still flying to the special project, which is the capture the meteors. Another six hours to go. And one rocket is going back to Earth and he's uh, just a little, little over half. Um, almost there. 
Now, when the meteor is coming in three hours, I'm thinking we may have to uh, not send out our transport. And it seems he has completed his last task. So he's almost cleaned it up this whole area over here. Just a couple polymers and metals left, so... So that's okay, maybe... No, I just want to wait and see where where those meteors are going to land. Oh, okay. Yeah, see? Wait, 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 wait. What happened there? Malfunctions. Okay. Uh, that's okay, we can just uh, repair him. So the, those rockets are going to... Uh, sorry, not rockets, meteors. Those meteors are going to be right next to us. And again, they are moving east, so that is that is very good. Now we have, uh, let's see, completed this one. Oh, it's another capture the meteors. Okay, uh, not for for now. We're just gonna wait out this one. And fingers crossed that we get some uh, some more anomalies as well. Cool, you are ready to land, so let's let's bring you back over here. We'll re supply you, and. Um, yeah, I think we'll send him out straight away after after this meteor storm is done in about two souls. And okay, let's see. So we did plan out. What was that? That sounded like a meteor. Yes, it was a meteor. I think. So for the tribal electric scrubbers, okay, so they're gonna take electronics. Yeah, this takes machine parts for maintenance. Well, basically what I'm trying to say is we'll have to be very careful about how we place those uh, scrubbers down. Since, um... Like polymers, we can start producing straight away. And machine parts, well, pretty, uh, pretty soon as well. Whereas electronics, yeah, it's gonna take a um, while. Well, maybe, maybe not. Hmm. I'm planning to, yeah, get this extractor going straight away. Sector scanned. Ooh. Decisions, decisions. Decisions. Nothing again. Well, that's very disappointing. Um, and still, still no anomalies from the meteors either. Ah, oh, I wish it was like you know one of the earlier episodes where I think we had meteors in this in this corner over here, and it was just loaded with. Ah, uh, no, it wasn't meteors. It was our um, ground scanning. Yeah, yeah, we were we were scanning the ground, and that's how we found. A lot of uh, anomalies from there, but it just seems like there's no no more anomalies in in this sort of general area over here. Anomaly found. Hey, <laughs> uh, it's just love it when it happens. Just as I said, it we got ourselves uh, one of those research ones. Beautiful, beautiful, beautiful. I want to say it seems like scripted, but I can't really control what the meteors bring down, so... So, yeah. Phew. Um, okay, so... That was pretty much about the uh, update, and I think we're gonna call the episode fairly, fairly soon, since it's all, almost uh, 30 mark over here. Quite a bit has happened in the past few episodes, and um, I, th I think we're we're at a good spot right now. Once we get the moisture vaporators, we can start building everything, everything over here. Bring down our, down our first colonists. I, oh, I think we need to research the drone hub as well, don't we? No. Anyways, yeah. So then we can start bring da bringing down some colonists and um, and yeah, get the production from machine parts and perhaps electronics as well. And after that, yes, it's going to be difficult, uh, probably the first 
10 15 souls to get the food production right and uh, and their happiness comfort as well just to make sure they they start uh, they they start the baby uh, baby producing uh, factories um and then we should be good i think yeah all right so um let's call the call it the episode over here thank you very much for uh, for joining and i do hope to see you all again Take it easy, everyone.